example 147 and example 148. In these problems, we're finding critical values using the F tables that are located inside the back of most textbooks and statistics classes. So the F notation here, of course, is to stand for the F distribution. And then we have this unique format where we have two degrees of freedom and then alpha. So there's a significance level like we find with most you know, critical values, but there's also two separate degrees of freedoms. The degrees of freedoms are often referred to as the numerator degrees of freedom and the denominator degree of freedom because our F test stat is a fraction that compares usually two variances. So what we're looking at then is usually the sample size for the first um, sample that was drawn from the population minus one and then the sample size of the second population minus one. So that's your numerator and denominator degrees of freedom respectively. So sometimes you'll see it as numerator degrees of freedom, denominator degrees of freedom. Um, other times they'll just have the notation, you know, degrees of freedom one, degrees of freedom two. But either way, the one that goes first is the one from the top of the fraction from your test stat. And the one that goes second is the one from the bottom of the fraction. And you'll see that as we look at examples where we're solving problems and actually calculating the test stat in the first place. But here we're going to the table now. We're just going to look up these numbers. The thing that's also unique about the F table is it's not one table, it's tables plural. So for every significance level, we have a different table. For example, for this first one, we're going to be going to the 0.01 table. So here's what this table kind of looks like, right? In this case, it's uh, two pages, the table, and you know, you'll see that there's an alpha of 0.01. We're going to zoom in in a minute so we can look at this closer to get the value that we need. But you'll go to the 0.01 table first, and then from there, you look at the numerator degrees of freedom in this very top row, and you would go over until you found 30. In this case, it's actually going to be on a second page, so 30 would actually be on our next page. So you'll see a 30 here. And then from there, we go down on this column here for the denominator degrees of freedom, we go down until we see the 40 that we're looking for. We go across and we'll find our answer, right? So that's how we get our, our critical values using these F tables. So we'll zoom in and find that one next. So let's actually just write out the notation and then we'll find the answer. So we're looking for the F 30 comma 40 critical value on the 0 0.01 table. Let's see what that turns out to be. Let's go to that F table now. We'll go to the 0.01 significance level table and we'll look up 30 degrees of freedom in the numerator, 40 in the denominator, and let's see what it gives us. Okay, so we're at our 0.01 table and we're looking for numerator degrees of freedom 30. Well, I don't see that here because the numerator degrees of freedom on the first page only goes up to 9. So we're going to have to go to the second page now. So we'll go to the second page and you see that the numerator degrees of freedom includes 30 now, so we have that. And in that column, we want to go down until we see in the denominator degrees of freedom the number 40. So we're going to have to scroll down a little bit so we don't lose sight of where 30 is. I'm going to put my pen here next to the 30 column, and we'll know that's where we're looking at. And then let's move our table down until we can see 40. Okay, so there's 40 and 60 there at the bottom of the table. And you can see that for our case, we want to find the number in the 40 row and in the 30 column. And when we do that, we see that it's 2.20, 2.20. Okay, so it looks like we found the answer 2.20 for the first one. All right, let's do this one more time for the second example. The second example says the numerator degrees of freedom is six and the denominator degrees of freedom is 24 and the alpha is 0 0.025. So we need to go to the 0 0.025 table, and then we look up numerator degrees of freedom, denominator degrees of freedom, and we'll find our value. So let's go do that now. Okay, so we're at our 0 0.025 table, and we need to look up degrees of freedom for the numerator of six, so that's this column here, and then we need to scroll down until we see degrees of freedom 24 and the other side, so on the denominator. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Okay, so in the six column, down to where it's 24, we see the answer 2.99, 2.99. Okay, so we found the answer 2.99. Alright, so those two examples illustrate how to use the F tables to find your critical values.